guys, uh, Clone or Die here, and we just wanted to kind of introduce you to a new series that we're going to be doing called The Gear Locker. So uh, we talked about it a little bit in the last video uh, when I was with Clayton, and how we're not just going over the guns, but we're also going to go over the weapons and equipment of the time periods, and we're going to do a more in-depth on these videos that we might not do in the normal videos where we're on the range and shooting, but we're going to cover everything in this Gear Locker series that we kind of go over when we're doing those kits. Uh, now, Clayton couldn't be here today, it's just me, because he had other things to do. <laughs> but I should be enough for you to be able to intro the series. Um, it's really about the complete package. A lot of people clone just a gun. Not a lot of people clone a gun and the equipment that goes with it for whatever time period you might be doing. And hell, the same gun can even apply to a bunch of different time periods. Just to give an example, I've got my uh, early GWAT uh, M4A1 Block 1 right here with an old school Peck 2, a Surefire 660-6P, uh, Peck 2, and a CAC NT4 suppressor. And this is how like you would see a gun used like from 2000 maybe to about 2005 ish 2007 when they start moving into like the block 2 accessories um and that this this is an m4 that covers that time period but then i also have an m4 that covers the modern time period which is still an m4 at its base um this one uh would be more of like the 82nd airborne or um marine Force Recon and Martime Raid Force guns that you see, where they have the Ergo rail extension out here on the front. Um, and I don't have a Peck 15 on this gun, I have a D-Ball instead, but everything else other than that is correct on this gun. We've got a Mechville CTR stock, an ACOG, but it's still the exact same gun, just with different attachments on it, and it covers a completely different time period. So it's just a short intro video, but like that, just like that, Comparing those two, what is essentially the same rifles that covers two completely different time periods, we're going to be doing stuff like that in this series of the Gear Locker as we go. We're going to have the full kits for whatever gun we're doing, whether it's Vietnam, World War II, uh, the 80s, the modern stuff, you're going to see it all on this series. Just stay tuned.